Stefan Helper, who allegedly met with Trump aides as an FBI informant, now asking a federal judge to dismiss a defamation lawsuit against him. Halper's being sued by a Russian-born academic for allegedly smearing her and former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn as part of a government conspiracy to bring down the Trump administration. Halper argues that government agents have qualified immunity against lawsuits, implying he is or was one. Well, a shocking new re Senate report revealing a former Hillary Clinton IT aide forwarded nearly all of her 30,000 emails to a secret Gmail address that he created. Paul Cambetta worked for the company that helped manage Hillary's email server. He also defied a House subpoena and used bleach bit to erase her 30,000 emails. Despite his efforts to cover up Hillary's email scandal, Cambetta was given immunity from prosecution. Joining me now is Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. Tom, let's start with Stefan Halper. He's kind of an interesting character, to say the least. He was clearly used to entrap Trump officials when you look at what he did. Uh, not, I shouldn't say officials, I should say campaign officials. Uh, now he's sort of admitting that he was working for the government, which, if true, means that he actually was working for the Obama administration that was trying to subvert the Trump campaign, right? Yeah, he was a spy for the Obama administration. He was tasked by the FBI, you know, as, as his, has his legal uh, position is tacitly admitting, he was tasked by the FBI, who knows what other agencies, uh, to go and spy and entrap, as you point out, uh, conduct intelligence operations against the Trump campaign. There's no doubt about it. Uh, he was getting paid through Defense Department money, so now that's another agency implicated in this uh, spy operation against President Trump. I mean, the more we learn, uh, it, it, it looks worse and worse for yeah. the Obama administration. And every piece of information that comes out further exonerates President Trump while implicating the Obama gang. Now, it, it seems, let's put the alphabet soup together, because it seems that not only was it the FBI that was involved in this campaign, there's evidence now that it could be CIA because he worked a lot with the CIA, did he not? And doesn't that then implicate that there was this uh, collusion, if you will, between between two government spy agencies that wasn't supposed to exist? Well, remember, there was this woman that was with him who was, quote, a government agent. It's unclear who she was, uh, what agent of government she was working for, what, which agency she was working for. And the suspicion is it was the CIA. We haven't gotten much in the way of CIA documents out. Uh, you know, the, 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 the spy operation against Trump was just so massive. You had Halper. We have these new documents from Bruce Ward's files coming right. out, which I call the coup files, showing that yeah. uh, Fusion GPS basically had a desk at the uh, Justice Department, thanks to Nellie Orr. And if Fusion GPS had a desk, that means that uh, Hillary Clinton had a desk at the Justice right. Department. Just, so to, just to align align all the dots, the point is is that Bruce Orr, who was a very high official at DOJ, his wife worked for Fusion GPS. That was the group that was paid by Hillary's campaign to get the dirt on Trump and created the Trump dossier. So it, it all comes together, and and she, it wasn't just Bruce, it was, it was Nellie, uh, who's, who was his wife, who was actually working at the DOJ. I mean, it's extraordinary. And the FBI is working with them. They're sending Halper to target Trump. The election happens. And guess what? They're still working with the Orr team, uh, Nellie and Bruce, and Fusion GPS to target Trump. Uh, it became a spy operation, morphed into a coup attempt, yeah. in my view. Well, do you think that A.G. Barr will get to the bottom of it? I don't know. I know we are. Uh, you know, I, I joked on Twitter the other day, uh, who needs an IG when you have Judicial Watch? We've got the <laughs> ORR 302s documenting the coup cabal. We've yes. got the documents that Fusion GPS was given to the FBI. Pretty much everything we know is out in the public domain, thanks to Judicial Watch, a little bit of Congress. And the question is, is he going to prosecute based on the information that everyone knows about? It's, to me, uh, the fact that these folks haven't been hauled before a grand jury uh, it tells you how difficult it is to go after the deep state and doesn't argue well for well, final I, I justice. I don't want to blow a lot of smoke in your direction. On the other hand, i got to say, because I know a little bit about D.C., I grew up there, I know people who try to get Freedom of Information Act uh, 
Uh, they, even the ones on the left, on the far left, admire your work for being able to get these documents that sometimes they're looking for as well. You, you are able to get documents, and particularly when it comes to Hillary's email and that whole yeah. scandal. Tell us what the latest is on the docs you've received with regard to that and the revelations that you've uncovered. Well, there are documents coming out. Uh, the Senate's pointing, out, pointing them out. We've uncovered them as well that it looks like Hillary Clinton's email was compromised in the sense one of her vendors was sending it all to an unsecure account again, including classified information, and that there were concerns ignored by Peter Strzok of the FBI uh, that a foreign government, namely China, was getting a BCC, a blind carbon copy, of virtually everything Hillary Clinton was sending out. And we've taken discovery uh, showing that Hillary Clinton was warned twice, that the State Department was knowingly lying about her email system with the, at that direction of the Obama White House. And next week, we have a federal court hearing in our uh, discovery, F over our discovery, gathering evidence, and we'll be asking the court uh, to depose Mrs. Clinton, bring her in under oath and ask her questions. Wow. Do you think you'll be able to get her in? I hope so, uh, because there's a lot of uh, unanswered questions about why she was running the system uh, and uh, where all of her emails are, which is what the court want to know, wants to know about, which I hope uh, we'll get more answers from her directly. But this is going to kill the producers because we run out of time. But what has the government, what has the deep state tried to do to undo your work? Oh, they oppose it. They oppose our, they've opposed our efforts to get answers from uh, the State Department and Justice Department about this conspiracy we're talking about. They've opposed our efforts to get discovery on Clinton emails. In fact, they're still defending her conduct. But opposing it, I'm, I'm just wondering if they ever went further, if you saw signs that they were trying to hack into your servers or what, what not. Oh, uh, well, I just presume they've already done that, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tom, great to see you, my friend. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it.